So these are some interesting times going on in the sports media world specifically. I'm not talking about any of the contests or any of the competition of what's going on on the actual field, court, wherever is being played, whatever sport. This is all talking about sports media and what's going on with talk show hosts, journalists, sports analysts, the whole nine yards. These are some interesting times. I wanted to highlight the drama going on with Stephen A. Smith and his recent comments on the Joe Budden podcast, mainly aimed towards Max Kellerman. I believe when he was on the podcast, it was just one of those deals where Joe Budden and the crew, they just go through and have a series of questions that they wanted to ask Stephen A. in terms of his career, his history, just basically events leading up to the point where he is now. And a big block of Stephen A's time that in a way launched him to where he is now is his four to five year stint with Max Kellerman when they were co-hosts on First Take. I believe it was 2016 to maybe 2021. And just from my perspective, let me give my perspective second. Stephen A went and said that and he's and to his defense, because he's getting a lot of backlash on his comments, people are saying, you know, that's rude, that's messed up, it's unnecessary, whatever. I I believe Stephen A. Smith is being genuine to a degree. I'm gonna get into it get into more a little bit more detail on what I believe what's actually going on. But in terms of Stephen A.'s comments in the public, it's been consistent and he's made that a point on his own podcast saying that his comments and his whole just general feeling towards the situation has been consistent since he made his first statement following the fallout of Max um, essentially not being kicked off first take, but just him being removed from first take. Because when Skip Bayless left before Max got on, that's when a passing of the torch in a way happened in which Stephen A. was kind of the man at... ESPN and first take this was before his big contract but again those five year that five year period is important like I said it launched Stephen A to where he is now just being the face of ESPN and that period of time hosting first take with Max Kellerman was a big deal that's why they kept mentioning it and that's why he brought it up during that podcast so anyway Stephen A just said that it was a bad fit he didn't like to work with Max Kellerman on first take. He said that there was a lot of incompatibilities, basically, in why there wasn't great chemistry between them. And the entertainment value went down. And that's what Stephen A. was concerned about. And that's what he alludes to for most of his points and his takes was that it just wasn't what he envisioned it to be um, before it actually happened. And he said that it wasn't it didn't have a good trajectory and he didn't want to be a part of that. And essentially that had Max Kellerman leaving the show. So he's been pretty consistent on that. Not saying he's Stephen A is not saying that it's personal. Stephen A is not saying that it was anything against Max Kellerman as a person or towards anything that has to do with him. However, from what I heard on the Joe Budden podcast, and that's why I believe this is building a lot of traction, is that Stephen A. went in a little bit more deeper into his feelings about the situation and kind of highlighted that because Max wasn't a former athlete or a journalist, that he didn't have certain components that would back up a lot of his takes and a lot of his claims when it comes to the show and the legitimacy. That claim that Stephen A made is really a game changer in terms of how the narrative is seen from outsiders. It's one thing to say, hey, our chemistry, our teamwork, the way we bounce back and forth on a debate show wasn't great in terms of the continuity and the rapport, this, that, and the third. Like, yeah, but when it's highlighted like yeah but max didn't have xyz 
that's when things take a turn. And again, I, I believe Stephen A is being gen, genuine. I believe he's being honest with his comments and that it's not personal. And it really was more so for trying to save the ratings and trying to keep his integrity on what the goal of the show would be and he said that it wouldn't work with Max and that's fine he made it clear that it was a we not a he not a pointing finger it was a we thing meaning it wasn't just Max's fault it was our issue that we didn't have the right teamwork working on set and he made those points but it, it gets a little bit hypocritical when he's like but Max doesn't have the athletic background or the journalistic background to be able to make the claims and there that in turn had people questioning his authority or rather his his opinions on things and that like that's kind of hypocritical might be true uh not to me i love max Kellerman. kellerman i still love max kellerman New York City guy went through some hardship in his life and was able to persevere and have a successful career as a broadcaster analyst. Um, He's on his boxing. You know what I mean? That's his strong suit. But he's just an overall intelligent guy. I thought he was fair in terms of the way he went about things. Yeah, he could kind of talk a lot. Um, And he could debate with the best of them. You know, that's why it was pretty... It might be even more impressive that he was able to go toe-to-toe with a lot of these people that were former athletes or that had a journal um, uh, column publisher background, you know, in my opinion. He wasn't just on there saying stupid things. Like, yes, he made stupid claims about I'd take Iguodala over Steph Curry, but, like, that's... That's for TV and ratings. That's Skip Bayless stuff. Skip Bayless made a living making crazy takes. Everyone makes crazy takes. So I'm not even going to hold that against Kellerman. But Max was professional. He he wasn't dumb. He was kind of no-nonsense. Again, it's probably a style that I kind of gear towards or conform to. But it wasn't anything like... I've seen Will Kane. No offense to Will Kane. That dude's smart. He's kind of more political, but like Will, when Will Kane was on first take, man, it was just uncomfortable, and it was just like, what is this guy doing trying to trying to talk sports? He's a very intelligent guy, but to me, Max Kellerman like does his research and follows sports and actually like knows his stuff, because he's able to come back at you with rebuttals, and he's able to be he's able to break down and critique all the sports just with the best of them. I had no idea that Max was didn't have any experience working as a columnist or or publish a publisher. None. I thought he went through the same journey as all these other beat writers, Levitard, Bayless, and then Stephen A. You know, but he didn't. So I think that's pretty impressive. So I don't know. This is just a. Uh, it got personal in that regard. People are spe- the interesting thing now is like okay why is Stephen A going to this these lengths yes he's being asked these questions but to me it's it's like bothering him to me like it's at this point where it's bothering him and he's going into it and he's like showing emotion toward it like normally when there's some sort of whether it's a fallout or there's just a moving on a graduation if you will of one thing to another it usually doesn't have this level of emotion behind it especially when something is not that's how you know something affects someone is what type of emotion or response that they kind of put into it when they're reminded of it and it seems like this whole thing about these theories about what could really be bothering Stephen A and why Max was really off of first take for example the Colin Kaepernick conversation with Terrell Owens, all these debates in which Max maybe had points and was able to not be manipulative in the way he was explaining things, but being able to talk and get at Stephen A in a way where he would just 
challenge him and maybe beat him on some topics because again Stephen A. Smith makes it clear that when he's on these talk shows, it's a, it's a competition. It's almost its own sport when it comes to debate talk shows and that he wants to win topics. And maybe a good amount of times Max got to him where it's like, man, I can't figure this guy out. That could have been another reason why Kellerman could have got the exit and Stephen A. stayed. He won't, Stephen A. won't admit that if that was a fact because that's him saying like, shoot, I got rid of him because he was going to come after my, you know what I'm saying? But all these reasons are compelling. I just don't like how social media, podcasts, YouTube, and all this are creating this big level of animosity. And a lot of things that are behind closed doors are getting put out to the public. And that's what social media does with Twitter. And now all these sports broadcasters have podcasts and a lot of the people that got let go from ESPN or they have their own independent brands now on YouTube they're able to have the platform use their voice and then kind of say all these things that would otherwise be kept in-house are now being put out there and what that means is that's going to cause a lot of drama the drama that people found when they were in middle school, high school, and people talking behind everyone's back when it comes to the locker rooms, that's being put out now. Now it's the, it's the same thing. It's just now with adults, millionaire people that work for big corporations, all their business and junk is just being aired out. I'm not a fan of it. Does it create a lot of controversy? Yes. What does controversy equal? Attention. What does attention equal? Money when it comes to viewership people like it i just hope that lines aren't being crossed i think it's kind of redundant it's a little immature in my opinion i believe that there should be a little bit more professionalism like what Kyrie said in a subtweet responding saying that Stephen a and terrell owens because they had a beef and a fallout from this conversation with max with the other stuff that he said when it came to the colin kaepernick situation on first take a few years back that should all get just said behind closed doors and handled like men over the phone don't need to put it on twitter don't need to say it on your podcast on youtube it's just different times i feel like all these people are coming after each other all these call all these journal all these analysts and talk show hosts man are beefing with each other and it's crazy but again it's generating revenue it's generating storylines it's generating narratives all the above and people like it so I guess they can keep going, you know, but I just want to throw my two cents in there and throw my thoughts on it. Um, Again, Max Kellerman's my guy. I don't think he's made any sort of statement or comment. I don't think he will because he seems like the dude that is just kind of in the in the he's in the cut. You know what I mean? He doesn't have to say much. He knows what he's about. He's a real one. In my eyes, I haven't heard anyone say one bad thing about Kellerman, but. I think he's like an OG, low-key, you know? And he may not get the shine that he deserves, and he may not want it, but that's why I like him, because he doesn't seek that like some people do. I'm not throwing names out. I'm not hinting at anyone, but I'm just saying in general, those that seek that attention, you know what I'm saying? They have a different agenda and ulterior motives, while those that don't, don't. So shout-out to Max. Hope he's doing well. He's probably just chilling, kind of watching the fire from above the hill. But, uh, yeah, man, if it was up to me, I would say keep things in house. Don't need to make everything public. Handle it face to face to where the, the issue is the issue and the conversation involves certain people. Those should be the only people being involved in conversations. And that doesn't mean that it needs to be put out to all these other random people that had nothing to do with it. That's what's going on now. And I think that's a little OD. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Appreciate you watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Share the video with friends. Follow the channel for next videos, man. I appreciate it. Peace.